Okay guys, here we go. It's the wide wheel electric scooter. Basically, if Batman had an electric scooter, this would be it. Let's go for a ride. Okay, loving the key start system. Whoa, whoa. Okay, here we go, we're off. Wow, oh my God, this thing's got a fair bit of pull. Wow. Okay, she's got a fair bit of torque, that's for sure. I'm barely putting my, my thumb on the accelerator and she's flying. Handling the bumps pretty well. Whoa, it feels completely different to the scooters with these wide wheels. Okay, stop at the red light, stop at the red light. Oh my gosh. Okay, so a bit of a shaky start there. Um, she's, whoa. Oh my God, she literally pulls you off the mark. Okay, now I've got my thumb down. I think we're maxing out about 15. Can't see it, I can't actually see how fast I'm going. Woo! Sun's out in London. Should've wore shorts. Oh my God! The pull of this thing is crazy! Okay guys, I can tell you that turning this scooter is a completely different sensation than any other scooter I've tried. It, it, basically these wheels are so wide, it's more like leaning into the corners and to turn. It's really quite cool, I'm probably not used to it just yet, as you can tell. I feel like I'm skiing or something, or like snowboarding, as opposed to riding an electric scooter. Beautiful area around here, haven't been down here before. Oy. Yeah, she. Uh, you can feel the bumps. You can feel the bumps. Is this the way? A few moments later. <sighs> okay, guys, that's the first leg of my journey complete. That's 4.2 miles with the wide wheel. I have to say it's taken a lot of getting used to. It's very, very different from every scooter I've tried. It literally is like G... <laughs> probably not the best place to film a video underneath a railway bridge. This thing literally has g-force. When you take off, it pulls you off the mark. The scooter goes one way and you go the other way. So, as you can see by my sketchy start, that really caught me off guard. I need to do some filming now with a friend. Hopefully she's gonna show up soon. Um, and then we'll continue this video in a moment. Okay guys, second leg of the trip now. I'm heading to Waterloo Bridge to check out this Extinction Rebellion protest. Uh, just a quick heads up on the battery. Uh, I've done about five miles so far and we've lost one bar of battery. Slightly embarrassing for the video is that the Extinction Rebellion lot seem to have cleared off. So I came to see a protest and there's no one here. Back to the scoot review, we've done another 4.5 miles to Waterloo Bridge. Okay, let's see if she can get me home. Okay, so that was my first ride with the, the wide wheel scooter. Had a lot of fun, definitely takes some getting used to. I'm gonna go inside and I'll tell you a little bit more about what I thought. Now for some tests. 
Okay guys, welcome to the beautiful Finsbury Park where I come and do most of my tests. And first up is the infamous hill test. It's always difficult to see how steep the hill is um, on a video, but this is a pretty steep hill. No scooter that I've tested has done particularly well on this particular hill, especially from a still start, but I'm hoping the wide wheel with its dual 500 watt motors, 1000 watts in total, it's going to change that. Let's go. What the hell? Easy! Too easy! Okay, that was a no-brainer. This thing demolishes hills. Simply put, this thing is made to destroy hills. I actually need to find a steeper hill to really test it out because that was too easy. So, um, if hills are important to you, this is your one. Okay, I don't know if you can see this, but literally on that brake test, the scooter was burning rubber, look. Um, braking wise, I expected it to be a little bit better than that actually. I guess because it's got that the, the dual motors, but only one brake. It doesn't have any brakes at the front, only a rear disc brake at the back. So, still pretty good braking overall, but I expected a little bit better. But the burning rubber was cool. A little pet hate of mine is that scooters without LCD displays make it very difficult to change modes. So I'm trying to unlock the speed limit on this thing to make it go faster and do the speed test for you. But to change modes is, is like trying to solve the Da Vinci code. You've got to kind of hold the throttle, press the accelerator in, press the on button for one and a half seconds, not one second. It's really annoying. I mean, it's 2019, guys, so any new scooter that comes out, please, just give us an LCD display. Anyway, I think I've done it. Let's see how fast you can do. I didn't quite hit 25 miles per hour, but I have used a fair bit of battery on this today, so that's probably the reason why. Um, 23 is more than fast enough anyway. The slightly annoying thing is, I would like to change this scooter back to its slower speed mode, but unfortunately, I'm not Albert Einstein, so I don't remember the combinations of buttons to press to put it back into that mode. It's so much easier if you've just got an LCD screen like the 9 bar. like it's a real pain in the you know what um, just while I'm here I don't usually do this kind of test but I'm gonna do like an off-road test go on the grass and see how the suspension does <laughs> Okay, that wasn't the most comfortable ride in the world and I'm pretty sure the scooter's not designed to be bombing across hard, uneven uh, grass like this. But overall the suspension is very, very good indeed. It's got dual suspension which means it absorbs the bumps and the cracks when it needs to and saves your back, unlike scooters without suspension. Jamie <coughs> M365. Excuse me. So definitely appreciate the suspension. Okie dokie, ladies and gentlemen, what do I think of the old wide wheel electric scooter? Well, I have to say it's a, quite a remarkable piece of engineering, it's a very unique scooter, I haven't tried anything like it before, so it did take a lot of getting used to on my part. Um, I have to be honest, after the first ride about town I wasn't massively keen on it, but I think that's because I stand in parallel on electric scooters. and. Ironically, the base plate on the wide wheel is, is very narrow, so I kept falling off, so I don't really like that. 
But after I adapted to that and spent a little bit more time with the scooter, I have to say I really, really enjoyed it. The way it hugs the road is like it's got its own center of gravity and you don't really turn the handlebars as much to steer like a normal scooter. You literally lean lean like I've never been snowboarding but I guess it's a bit like snowboarding and the acceleration is something else I feel like it goes from 0 to 10 miles per hour instantly and that's really useful especially at traffic lights because you can literally boost ahead of cars and bikes and everything else you're kind of ahead of the traffic so that's really really useful and um, I don't think the acceleration will be as good with a single motor version but definitely this dual motor version kicks ass I feel like you will love it or grow to love it and for me it was definitely the latter it just took a little bit of getting used to but after I embraced the uniqueness of the scooter I really really enjoyed it but who's it for oh, I just spat on the camera but who's it for um I think if you've got hills in your neighborhood then look no further than this scooter stop searching immediately because this thing is the hill destroyer especially this dual motor version I couldn't find a hill steep enough that it couldn't just trot up with ease it was exceptional so that's absolutely brilliant but would you use it as your everyday commuting vehicle in a crowded inner city area like London. I don't think I would personally because I prefer something a little bit smaller and lighter that I can fold up quickly and nip into shops and stuff like that and use it everywhere I go but that's just the way I operate. Um, if you're going to use it more like a vehicle, like a proper vehicle and you go from A to B and you've got somewhere to stash it and charge it or whatever then um, you will definitely enjoy the wide wheel. It's it's a beast. Like, like I mentioned right at the start, it's like Batman's scooter. If the Batmobile was out of action, this would be what Batman would ride around on. Yeah, so if you want to be like Batman, get one of these. But it doesn't matter what I think. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below and get involved in the community. Have a little chat. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Smash that little notification bell if you want to get notifications. Subscribe if you're new and we'll see you in the next one.